Hi guys! What's up everybody? Hey! And welcome back. We have a brand new video for you today, but this one's a little bit extra special. Before we even start, we want to thank the endorsement for this wonderful opportunity on this new series that he's doing where he's spotlighting other creators and go having them go to places that he or his current viewers can't get to, to try. So we are really excited to take part in that, but we have a doozy for you guys today. Where, do you, where are we going guys? Where are we going? A Canadian classic. The Swiss Chalet. The Swiss Chalet, yes. Uh, we are going to try their hot Nashville chicken sandwich with a twist. What twist is that? I don't know, Steve. Let us know. What twist is that? It's got ice cream on it. What? That's right. It is a Nashville chicken sandwich topped with a layer of ice cream. Vanilla ice cream. We're confused. I do not understand why they put ice cream on it. I don't know how it's going to taste. I can't see it tasting good at all, but we're gonna find out. Yeah, we're hope gonna... you like your bun sloppy. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, it's gonna. Do they have the bun too? Yeah, it's a full-on yeah. sandwich so with a with a scoop of vanilla ice cream on top. This is so weird. So the one caveat with this is that it's only dine-in because of the ice cream. So we're gonna head on into the good old Swiss Chalet, and we are gonna give it a try and see what is up with this. We're gonna see it, shoot it, and then come back to the car and give you our thoughts. Absolutely. <laughs> So for those of you guys who are not in Canada and do not know the wonderful, wonderful world of Swiss Chalet, here it's is, divine. It is awesome. <laughs> it is. It's seriously a Canadian classic. Like, if you don't look, like, yeah, it's, it's a Canadian classic. Um, so really quick little brief history about Swiss Chalet is the first restaurant opened in Toronto in 1954. Wow. It's old. It is old. She old. What is that, like 70? 68 years old or something. Well, 1950 would be 72 years, so uh, it's it's really old. Um, they are the they are known for their famous rotisserie chicken, and Eric's least favorite, but Steve and I love it. Their, their dipping, dipping sauce. sauce. It is fantastic. The dipping sauce. It is. It's made with special ingredients. Nobody really knows what it is, but you can get packets at the grocery store. So. Uh, it's watery gravy. No, it's <laughs> delicious. It's thick. It's creamy. Uh, but that's sort of what. Swiss Chalet is known for the rotisserie chicken and their dipping sauce. It is a maize ball. So if any of you guys are ever in Canada, make sure you stop at a Swiss Chalet. You will not regret it. Quarter chicken dinner, way to go. Absolutely. With fries. There you go. <laughs> Holy guacamole. Wow, that was um, that was so good. I was shocked. Way different than I expected. I thought it was going to be a, a sloppy wet mess. Ew. It was a sloppy wet mess, but it tasted really good. <laughs> Steve yeah. and Eric were convinced they were going to hate it. I, yeah. Well, I mean, it's a Nashville hot chicken sandwich with a scoop of ice cream and honey on it. Yeah. It does not sound good at all, but that's not so it appealing. was really good. So it worked really well because for me, it was really, like the Nashville was really hot and it was the oily Nashville. So oh yeah, that, that chicken had some spice to it. It had a kick to it. It kicked hard. So the ice cream really, really helped and they had like extra hard ice cream. I don't know if that's a thing. So it actually lasted the whole entire sandwich. Yeah, yeah, it was weird. I don't know how they like, but the, that scoop of ice cream was like, it was rock solid. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was in like the deep freezer. Yeah, so it didn't, it melted obviously, but it was still like, by my last bite, I still had like solid ice cream in there. It was, maybe it wasn't real. It was styrofoam. <laughs> I'm glad we tried it just because, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if we would have tried it because we're kind of like, eh, we have to uh, try it in the restaurant. We probably would have tried it for the channel. Would I get? Would I have tried that? Like no. going to Swiss Chalet on my own? Never. I doubt it. Yeah. Swiss Chalet's uh, quarter chicken is so good; it's hard to get away it's from. Hard that. to get. And away. honestly, the price wasn't that bad. So as you saw, it came with the sandwich, a bunch of fries, a pickle on the side, and dipping sauce. And each one was like, I don't know, because we just have the total. So for three dinners, it was fifty-seven dollars and sixty cents with all the taxes. So divide that and... It's about 17 bucks a, uh, a plate. Which isn't terrible because that no, that's sandwich... that's not bad. That sandwich had like... Mine at least had two big pieces of the meat on it. Yeah, it had a big piece of chicken on it, yeah. And like a ton of french fries on it. I mean, this, the, you know, I'd pay anything for that Swiss Chalet dip and, and stuff. <laughs> and like our waitress said, it was kind of dessert and dinner all in one. Yeah, exactly. yeah you just kind of kill two birds with one stone. A Who needs dessert? A fun little side note though is that nobody... The girl that was working, she's never had anybody try it before. So she was super excited. She sat and watched us try it, yeah. She watched it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> We watched us all take our first bite and she was really intrigued by it. She hasn't even tried it herself. Yeah, so, she was dying to know how it tasted. The biggest challenge is getting your mouth around that thing. I couldn't. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Damn it. Surprisingly, right, I have a giant, like, I talk a lot, I have a big mouth, but I couldn't even get my mouth over the whole thing. No, well, yeah, if you guys saw that first bite, I took right, like, well, I went for it, and I, yeah. It unlocked your jaw like I, a like, snake. I, like, the ass. Um, but before we end the video, Eric, was it worth the trip? Absolutely, yes. I think that was a big surprise. So I'm going to say um, the flavor was amazing, and, yeah, easily worth the trip. Steve? 100% worth the trip. It tasted great. <clears throat> You know, the chicken was awesome. Ice cream was good, all around good, worth the trip. Just make sure you bring some wet naps because it is sticky as hell. I, I'm i still sticky. <laughs> You're always sticky. Yes, 100% worth the trip for me, just for the novelty of it alone, because you're gonna go in thinking it's terrible, but it actually is really, really surprising. It is hot, so be warned, but the ice cream does help with that. But 100% worth the trip for me. If you have an opportunity to try it, definitely try it. Um, but yeah, I think it was just a lot of fun to try this. And that means Swiss Chalet gets a 3 out of 3. 3 out of 3. Get that confetti going or whatever Curtis. endorsement's going to do for us. Curtis. Celebrate. Curtis. Good times. Come Woo on. Come on. <laughs> My rating might change in half an hour. We'll see. <laughs> oh, yes. The after effects of the Nashville chicken. You never know. That Nashville is spicy. It gets you. Maybe he can do an update video. <laughs> Just I'll, kidding. I'll do, I'll do a live stream. <laughs> it hurts so bad. <laughs> <laughs> but before we end this video, we once again want to say thank you to the endorsement for this amazing and fun opportunity. Yes, thank you so much. We appreciate reaching out to us. This is thank awesome. You. And we really appreciate, um, you know, taking the time to uh, reach out. And... Yeah, we appreciate all your support, man. It's awesome. Support. So that's, thankful. Yes. That's the word I was looking for. Um, but with that being said, we thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this one, don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Every Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern, the trips go live. Come join the fun. We will see you there. Here comes some bloopers. YouTube and chill. Bye, Bye guys.